time. Time for ice cream. Ice cream time. It's ice cream time with lion's mane. Ice cream time with lion's mane. When Master Maze meets Blondie Butter, wham, it's Butter Kissed. Butter Kissed, on sale now. Kiora makes orange flamenco. And lemon and lime cascade. Orange, lemon and lime from Kiora for a cool one of six. That's as quiet as a mouse. What a good runner that. It's quiet as a mouse that coat. Can you hear it? It purrs like a kitten. I wonder what's under it bonnet. Whether it's a 1300 or 1600. We'd have to have a look, wouldn't we? Oh, hang on, hang on. Hang on. What's this? What's this? <laughs> no I'm wonder it's as quiet as a mouse. I'm Pete C from Cortina City. <laughs> Are you ready for a road trip? Are you ready? We, we do realise we have a, a choice of cars today and we're happy that you've picked us for your travel today. Other Cortina travel companies are available with a choice of motors in hand. We take our pick, we choose our weapons and today's weapon of choice is Project Ruby. We've got information of a Mark III Cortina. It's a Crayford, we believe. We better go downtown and check it out. Get ready for a road trip. This is Cortina City. You're watching on a Saturday night. I'm Pete C. And let's do it. First things first. To move TC out of the way so we can get Ruby out. <laughs> Come on, TC. Come on. Come on, boy. Woo. Right, I'll get this out of the way. Let's get on the road. Right, bang TC over there. Let's go. Swampy's, Swampy could come out as well, I suppose. And that means moving this stuff, but I fancy cruise control today. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Right. Let's get in this bad boy. Now, because of the lockdown, we ain't been out for ages. I can't wait to get a bit of freedom. So we're going to do our exercise near where the Cortina is. So we're going to journey to our exercise location. I've got me, me running kit here ready. And then we're going to combine it with a trip out. You know what I'm saying, don't you? OK, let's start this thing and get moving. Mobiliser first into park. And we're on the way. I'm excited. <laughs> and we're underway. There's now more exciting than going on a Cortina trip. And I'm sure there's nothing more exciting for you guys at home. Let's just move out of this lane now. Don't you worry, we're concentrating on our driving. Now more exciting. Okay. They're going down and checking out a Mark III. It's in Dave's yard, which is never a good sign. Once it gets into that Reaper's yard, will it ever escape out there? What will the rust be like? We've no idea. I've got only information that it's a Graver. I did get some sketchy photographs sent through, but we didn't know if it was the same car. Things didn't quite look right. Bits of trim missing and, and stuff. I just don't know about this car. We need to go down and find out what it's all about. So, Sit back for a little while while we do a little bit of uh, Ruby Road driving and um, we'll shortly be arriving at our destination at least. Short for you. It's about a 40 minute drive for me. We've got about 30 minutes uh, to get now. Looking good. Let's lock and load.
great to be out on the open road again. Can't wait for the motorway run. This is what it's all about. Yeah. Let's go. Very windy though folks, the only problem we'll have is uh, when we're filming we're going to get wind noise in the uh, scrapyard. I'm going to try an old uh, smelly sock over that microphone but this camera's great but it doesn't have a, uh, a mic socket so we'll have to just go with what we got, maybe I could overdub. We'll have to see. About uh, 10 minutes away now. Go we'll downtown and check this out. Oh yeah, Cortina Mark III Crayford then. Are you ready? Type away if you're excited. Let's see them uh, chat boxes going. Maz and Just on the controls. Justin and Maz there we see. Type away. Peter Barker again. Type away. John, hello. Mark, Mike. George Island, hello. Type away. David, hello. Steve Finningley, hello. I'm just, I'm just guessing who's going to be there. <laughs> Out in the countryside, we like it. Uh, will it ever be the same again? Who knows? Let's hope so. Let's hope so. We're on the road again. Hesitant driver in front. We're now in a 60. We can take this if we want. It's our call. Safe and legal to do so. Nope, we've got a single line, we can't do that. Not safe, not legal. Itching to move, I'm itching to see the car, but let's not let those emotions overrule good common sense driving. Could do with some uh, leather gloves to get extra purchase on the wheel. We've got the inertia rear seat belt, so we're not doing bad. Opportunities arise for the overtake but roundabout approaching no point let's just stay cool let's stay calm let's stay collected mark three then coming up soon strange to see all the uh, the pub's gone, closed or gone. Certainly life in a northern town. Strange to see all the pubs gone. Rows of terrace houses. Wow. This is your northern town. Raise letters on that BM there, that's unusual. Look at that. Retro plate fitted. Bit of an Art Deco building there on the right. The 
the volunteers for, I can't believe it. Albion's hanging on for dear life. Clayton the Moor Social Club's okay. Pizza time gone. it'll do me good to get a break from the car from Project Bramble because it has been full on so but it is hard to break away from the car it's quite addictive and it's quite good fun doing it but this will give me a, a welcome a welcome diversion and also as we say some Mark Free Crayford action let's hope it's nice and solid looking forward to a nice solid car to uh, ponder over maybe we can uh, save it let's have a look could it be the next project but TC needs doing but can we fund it this is the thing let's see well to, to a turn now okay coming up on our destination great Harwood Dave's domain Dave if you don't know he uh, he deals in car parts most cars don't make it out alive Whoa, these roads are bumpy and ruby suspension is uber solid but that's how I like it here's the town centre and we're ready to creep up on Dave don't really know I'm definitely arriving they sort of, I sort of said I'll be here they're going to catch them off guard let's see what we can do come on Dave maybe Alan Bullen might be here the Bullen monster Will he be here? Here's our turn. You've seen this before. If you're avid Ruby video and Cortina City video watchers, you'll know this turn. And away we go. We'll start seeing signs of classic cars probably. What will we will reveal? Who knows? Can we park? Who knows? Come on, Dave. There's the Bullen van, I think. Is that the Bullen van? Yep, that's the Bullen van. There's Dave's Poppy Field van. There's the yard. There's Dave, they're all in. I can see the Crayford, it's yellow. I can see it, it's yellow. Dave's there, it's all happening, it's all happening. Whoo, I'm excited, are you as excited as me? Well, I'm gonna say. Uh, have a, hang on, let me twist the selfie stick. Ian Seabrook's trusted self, I've arrived. I can see the court, I can see it. I can see it's yellow. I can see it's a GXL front, it's got, it's got four headlights. <laughs> Let's go and see, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, let's catch them all. Let's go and get them and see what's going on. Oh, I can't wait for this. <laughs> hey! Oh my God. My Cortina. Straight away, we've not even got in the yard yet. Look what we got. What's he been up to? What's he been up to? That looks too solid to break. I'm going to try the, uh, the wind socks. I'm really going to have to apologise. You're going to get uh, wind noise on the mic. But we'll try the try the cloth off the cloth no right I've got an old sock on the uh, sort of Cortina here mark 2 let's check it out left hand left hand drive it's in a little bit of action it's like a solid shell though to me it's looking rather solid. Let's go and see the main event. What's going on here? I'm going to an wall. Oh. oh, there's a bulkhead there. I've come to see this, boys. 
Is that all right? This ain't looking so good. Oh, you haven't started stripping it yet. So this is the... Ah, we've got problems. Uh, right, this ain't looking good. This is not looking solid at all. We'll have to get a closer look at this. Go on YouTube, Dave. Hello there. The Corollas. Hello, Dave. Have you been hiding around the corner while we loaded that van up? No, I haven't actually. <laughs> no, why was it hard work? Yes. I lifted that on by hand. Right. Nice. Looks a good shell, that. It's all right. What's the story with that then? Where's that going? He's going to use it to repair his. Okay. So that's the customer picking it up, is it? Yeah. It's, it's going to be repair panels for his van. So, how's me Crayford? That's what I've come for. That's that, there, Pete. That, that's the one. That's not for. Where's me Crayford? <laughs> there, <Pete. laughs> that's that's, the one, what the? No, 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 no. This is just for spares, isn't it? Where's this solid? Where's the solid one? Um, Houston. You know you like a challenge. Talk, talk me through it, Dave. What's the story? It's a How do you know that? Pictures of it on the internet at Shores. Right. Where's these pictures? Can we have a look? Yeah, it might take me a while to find them. Number plates. Show me the plates, Dave. Show me the plates. See if I recognise the reg. There's the number plates. F O H six hundred L. I've had a pi I've seen a picture of this. Is that the one that was in the like in a barn or something? Yes. Ah right, I thought I recognised the reg. Okay. Okay. I better go and have a closer look then, Dave. See what the damage report is. It doesn't actually seem, but it is. Uh, yeah, yeah. Two door door carts. Yeah. Oh, the quarter. Ca I've just spent a. Oh no, they won't work. They're different. I was going to say, I've just spent a lifetime restoring now. So we've got um, an XL dash, isn't it? Was it an XL? So, David, it's rotten. Well, it is a bit, but you've done worse. It's a special, though. I like that. Huh? Badges are all right. I've been looking for one of them. It's not got chip marks on it. That's about it, mate. A badge, and that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That local arm power. Yeah. Do you want it? Yeah. No, no, please. What do you get to start like that? That There's no. I can get a four cell on the run. Yeah. It does better on a big long run. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'll get out of here. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's not so bad. I'm just 25. What is it? Watch your back from this part of the trail on entry. Really? 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 Eh? All right, so get on my desk. Straight to the top, turn right or turn left and then fish right and cross park point. Hey. Got, drive me wind sock. Drive me wind sock because it's so windy. Put the sock on it because the microphone's there. No, it's a smelly old mouldy. So talk us through this, Alan. What do you think of it? Is it a go or not? It doesn't look like it to me. Looks like. Well, what's happened to the sill? The sill's completely. Yeah. It's completely detached itself from. Can we, can we open? Back axle semi-detached as well. 
Yeah, Semi detached, right. That's yeah. a semi detached. Okay. Ah, oh, nice one, Alan. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Steady on! <laughs> oh, <c> <laughs> this what do you reckon, Pete? Can you fix this one? Well, er. Uh, I can start from transmission tunnel and work my way out. Well, I don't know about that. That's, there's a bit of corrosion on transmission tunnel. Is it? That's rare that they go. Yeah, yeah. There's no other. I've got, I've got that panel if you need that panel. No. Whoa. What? I don't. We're <laughs> any Flintstones here. <laughs> Just hang on. So, it's a 1.3, 1.3 L, hang on, let's get that, it's a 1.3 L on a Craven. Pete's next project. It's, why does everyone put them onto me? I don't know. We're getting it up back at truck now. Have you got room for it, Pete? I could tow it back, I guess. Tow it back? <laughs> <laughs> put a battery on, you'll drive it. It's only a cross ride, you can sit like it's running. You can drive it. When I saw the uh, the grill when I drove in, then I thought it's going to be on a GXL, uh, you know, a Crayford on a GXL. How's the engine bay? Let's just give us give us a ray of hope. Give me some. Give me some. Yeah, it's, it's fared better under there. Yeah. Well, it's got the plenum drain tube on an L. Yeah. And an L reg. Heater box looks all right. Yeah. If you can get it out without wrecking it, I know how to get them out. You're going insurance, aren't you, Pete? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh yeah, because not the self salvage me a good bit off of it. There's a build tag. There it is. It's, it's un unreadable. I could have decoded that. Um, um, I'm struggling, Dave. I really am. I better go, go and, and, right. and look further around. Oh, yeah. I'm I'll decode that. That's completely detached, hasn't it? Yeah. From the inside of the. Well, come round here and have a look here. Stick the camera in there. Oh, <laughs> we're well gone there. We have got a panel to fix it with, though, lads. You can yeah. have that with you, right, guy. I could have done with one of them about a year ago. Got a good panel there. So that's not one of mine, is it? No, I bought I bought the other bulkhead panel. I think that we're down here. It's it's the back. it's the internal scuttle panel that counts if you can um well I've got more chance starting with this. <laughs> yeah, start with that and add it to it. Dave, this is this is a bit of a dark horse move. I didn't know you had this panel. Ah right, right, right. right. And the, on the floor. Well, that's worth. Yeah, the bits inside were worth more than the yeah. car. <laughs> yeah, this this looks like a good internal panel there. That that's I struggled getting hold of one of them, so someone will need that. Aren't there a lot of people starting doing these up? Because you've been selling a lot of parts for these. Have they all got the bug? Are they all because it's locked down? They're sort of taking on projects. Well, lots of people are doing the projects that they that they haven't been doing because they were at work. Now they're sat at home with no job, so they think might as well finish that car that's been sat in the garage. Or start one like this. <laughs> well, a, take more than a lockdown to do. Take more than a lockdown to do this. Homemade backing plates. Headlights. Oh great, yeah, because I say you you could use. Oh dear. Ah. What oh, is it? It's a. It's quite a good idea. It's isn't ambitious, it? isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I've just got to say. It's well on grill, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, Look, look how it sits on grill, they're in the right place. Yeah, that's, uh, got to right. hand them some points for that one. The yeah. inner, the inner's gone, the lower, all across that cross member's gone. So forget that. What about your lower, um, no, you're gone, you're gone. <laughs> What's the point of even asking these questions? <laughs> um, I mean, I'm trying to find something, you know, some crate on it. You know, it's whatever you touch it like, it's... Yeah, that's, that's it's not a salvageable. Yeah, let's have a look at that. Got some good glass. Glass will sell. Well, the glass will sell, yeah, because you've got it. It's funny that it's an L, but it's got the, the XL trim. I thought the L just had uh, plain rubbers. I didn't know that the L fitted these. What's the, what's the mileage, mate? Who cares? <laughs> what difference does it make? <laughs> Woo! Woohoo! <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go, let's go and have a look at that views. I hope you all enjoyed. Keep typing away. Let's know what you you think. Okay, what we got? Hit me with it, Dave, and hit me hard. Part two, Cortina Estate. Thirty-three thousand genuine miles from new. Wow. I seen one on the back of your truck. That was it. Yeah, there's a red one on the back of your truck. Oh, right, oh, Could you tell me about that? Oh, the one outside? No, yeah. That's, that's from, uh, I think it's from Norway. The one outside. So, um, even with 33,000, it's not meant much with this, has it? No. It's been left for 20 years in a wet garage. Just goes to show you've got to store them right. What a rare beast as well, Dave. Are there many estates? I'm not up on my Mark II. Well, there's not as many slings. We have it's a popular So, again, this one won't make it, will it? No. They've not really got that crazy into them enough to take that on. You could get all the panels from Express. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's always the way. So it's a strip to break it out, It's not making it out. So they just. These cars are getting less and less. Did you did you go to the garage where it was? Did you? This, yeah. What type of garage was it? A concrete one or? No, wood. A wood one with big holes in. A long way away. Two hundred and fifty miles from here. I'd have gone with you to watch this come out. Let's get back to the main event. Lights any good? I'm, I'm surprised it's got that trim on it. I really am. I just didn't know that. See, I'm still learning. Did it have the cardboard? No. Not even get that. I was saying the little bit of cardboard that fits up top there. He might catch the door on this Cortina, Alan. Might damage it. <laughs> no, careful. Because I could. I, it might be coming to mind this, we don't know yet. Depends how mad I am. What's, what's happening with this one? This looks solid. It is, yeah, it will go solid, just pull the engine out. It's a uh, left hand drive. Here, I'll tell you something you like about this, can I look here? Okay, Alan. It must have come from a cold climate, this. Right. 1600 Deluxe. Yeah. Yeah. There's a heater in the court plug. I'll see it. Wow. That's novel, isn't it? Never seen that before. And it had a plug on it, we took the plug off it. That plugged into the mains. Never seen that. Look at yeah, that. It's come from a cold climate, that, hasn't it? Hiya! Do you want an old sock? Yeah. yeah. When I said, I thought, well, what the fuck's that? Yeah. Looking easy, good, but. Yeah, I think it's probably from Finland or somewhere, guy. Yeah, wow. But it is like dry air, we'll never get that. It's not in the wings. Come on. Come on. Come on. We'll go further back. We'll go further back because you know what well, it's just going to put exhaust off it, so when it comes off, it's easy then. There's no stopping it coming off then, is there? No, it's probably coming off. There's a bit of pain, keep catching it. So, nice one, just get it off while it's there. You need to use grind, it's cut it up massive. Cut it off. Um, Alan, talk me out of it. Hey? Talk me out of it. When we're delivering it. <laughs> You're laughing at me. <laughs> I'm going to set one of the others out way for you while you can put that in the garage. It's all disconnected, but we won't get it off at actual. Drag it outside, cut it with grinder. We get underneath with grinder, just cut it off. Not bother with exhaust. It's an old med one. And then we shall take the engine out the moment through. Oh, go, innit? it? Might as well do it while I'm here, please. Some of that's all gearbox out, so it's come for a box. So. Might as well uh, sort him out while he's here. Oh, 
Ah, there you go. Well, Which they've done a good job of getting rid of the paints. Definitely TAW's the paint code, so Tony Brown, and there you go. Well, both but, ladies. But, but you should see more evidence of Brown. Yeah. In. It should just. If you just scratch a bit of yellow, Dave, because it has been painted yellow because it's over sprayed here. Yeah. So we should find. Because the, 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 um, the dash is right for Tony Brown. You know, with a tan, because if it, if it was um, yellow, it's normally a black interior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you could. Ashtray corner, isn't it? Well, it's right, but like the paint's all pillars and everything. Just yeah. Just, just that way. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Answers on a postcard, please, for the seats. We'll let Alan Bullen know. I'm sure I mentioned you're in one of my videos, Alan. 14 on it. Yeah. But what the back seats is what I'm saying because they're different shapes, so they should go for good money. What condition are they in? Ah. Well, the frames, the, rub, the rubbers, if the foam's all right, you just get it retrimmed. Really That's salvageable. It's this one that counts. This is, this is, here's your money here. This bottom. Uh, Oh. Oh, oh dear. It could be used as a sort of reference point for somebody. Just uh, paint a sign on it, tip this way. Hmm, that's a shame about the seat. Mark three, two-door Crayford rear seat. Must be worth yeah. 50 pence. Yeah, it, well, it, it, it doesn't... Crayford... Well look yeah, Crayford doesn't really... Oh, Crayford doesn't count for the different. seats, no different. It's, it's just the fact it's a two-door seat. You don't have the cut, cut out of it here, Alan. Crayford, yeah. Let's come out of the Crayford. Oh, right, oh, I see, yeah, yeah. All yeah. that is a two-door seat. Yeah. yeah. Squared off like that. Yeah. It's tawny on the pillars as well here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've just recently learned that you don't have a trim piece on them. Because I thought, I've been looking for my trim on my car, there isn't one. I spent hours and I thought, it doesn't have it. I'm looking for something that doesn't exist. I'm just trying to find a saving grace, but this is, this is, this could be five years of work. Nice kick panels, isn't it? There you go. Ah. Five years of... Five years of um, let's let's have you upgrade for the lights are here, including log book and chassis plate. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um uh, anything any history in there? Ooh. Nah, nah. A, sp a spanner. Uh, a BP coupon, some spark plugs, any gold, a GXL badge perhaps. Hang on. Some clips, some Crayford clips. Uh, yeah, even the glove box has done. Ah, oh, there's a bit of string holding the glove box up. Look. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we do a cassette, perhaps a retro collector. Sharp one as well, yeah. Yes, yeah, sharp. Right. Say sharp to the bottom of the glass. If you just do that, it's a harp. Uh, uh, I'm really struggling, boys. You've had a wasted journey all the way from Saltpoy, so we can't sell you Crayford as the uh, next project. That's the, a bit, uh, bit design, isn't that? We'll yeah. give you a cup of tea as well. Coffee, yeah. Uh, Oops. I plugged that back on. Sorry, Dave. What about a bit of yard eye, Pete? I've just cleared all my yard out. Well, you could have start again with this. <laughs> 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 Does the clock work? Does the clock work? Can we put it back? It worked when it was parked up. Have we got an ignition key for it? Yeah. Sleep. What type of keys are the original Ford keys? Oh, it's a nice set of original Ford keys. Yeah. So, has it got a locking petrol cap on? Yeah. There's the key. Yeah, there you go. Ignition and locking petrol cap. That door's on. I wonder if that's key to the boot as well, that. Yeah, all them locks locked up and off. No valet key. Get out of here. Get out Guys, let's have a little tea break. Things are looking bad for the Crayford. Real bad. It's quietened down in the yard. Well, there is a crazy dog next door. Tom's on the job now. He's stripping this bad boy apart. He likes to do stuff like that. Sun's come out for us. I'm gonna I'm just helping Dave take the heater box out because he says I'm an expert, so I've managed to uh, start gently rocking this very nice fiberglass heater box. Loose. And then we're looking around for things. To salvage off it. Tony Brown then. L spec, although with XL spec dash clocks um, with the time clock and the XL wooden trim, but L on the chassis and FLU 
number, same as Swampy, that's October 71, so October 71 then on an L plate, so probably kept at Crayford's for a while while they did all the work, and then eventually went out onto the L plate. Uh, quarters, I still have Easter baby for the quarters, I'm being careful not to cut myself, quarters gone, and Tom's special, look at this floor, yours for four grand Tom, yours for 4k, what do you say? I'll take it. Okay, what mileage did we have anyway? Uh, a genuine 17,000 miles, look at those lovely map pockets. Well, they are good, they normally really badly curl, we're just starting to go there. We've got the crash pad off, because we're taking the uh, dash out. If we're taking the dash out, I presume that means, Tom, I mustn't be buying it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the end. Right, what do we need to do next? This surround off, and then we're going to try and get the heater lever. All we're trying to do is get that heater box out. But yeah, I'll just get a bit more filming and I'll give you a hand in a sec, Tom. But look at this, whoa, just, just, I mean, I, I reckon if you pull on that, the entire, the entire sink's gone rotten, the entire sink's gone rotten, I believe it, come on holiday by mistake, oops, I think a fine wine is the only way to uh, get through this. I want the finest wines available to humanity. I want them here and I want them now. Let's have a look at this. Oh. <laughs> it's gone! I can't believe it. Me and Tom, we've been having some fun. We've been trying to find an 8mm socket for about an, what, about an hour, lad. He's a Lancashire lad like me. But he's heading towards Yorkshire way, really. Blackburn's nearly in Yorkshire, isn't it? getting that way. He's only a young lad is our Tom at what 28? Yeah, only a young lad this lad. I've been telling him all about Cortinas. He's a good listener is our Tom, a good listener. Speak to me, I'm a good listener. Where did the uh, blue floor pan come from? He must have had a mint. Was it a Mark 5 that blue one? It's a very good floor that isn't it? Did you did you cut that up? No, that's what we missed. Oh, it's come with this car. Wow. <laughs> I think that's what they were using to Right. Oh. Up. What's the what's the dog called? Poppy. Poppy! 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 Hiya, Poppy. Hiya, darling. Oh, a lovely little doggy. Now I've heard there's a really nice boot floor, not that I need it, although it is, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let's have a look around while Tom's doing that. Mmm, oh, well, yeah, not bad, bad at all. Okay, what else is in Dave's yard? A light ace, let's go and have a look at the light ace, one for the hub nut then, the light ace. Hopefully the wind noise has dropped down a little bit now. Let's get inside and do a hub nut special. This is Ian from, from hub nut. And a triangle of doom for Ian. Or maybe not, Mr. Seabrook. I don't know if you're watching. You never know. We might get Ian watching the channel from time to time. Other celebrities should be watching Cor Cortina City because it's fun. We we give a little slight different uh, view um, on our cars. We're sort of into restorations, whereas Hubnut and some of the other channels, they're into reviews. Uh, Stephanie, I drive a classic as well. She's got a good channel going. They do reviews, whereas I do sort of repairs and OCD detailing work. So I'm breaking away now. So this is like me giving the dash to Ian and him doing the detailing work, and I now do the review on the light ace. So if we get, I'm finding that there's not a lot of room between your knees and the dash. Okay. So I'd be a bit struggling here, but conveniently located wiper control there and a column change so you're good to go there radio cassette then fa factory fits here look at that beautiful whoa beautiful thing no forget it you can't do car reviews leave it to the experts there's a light ace ok 
okay some external wind noise now sorry about that uh, Corolla let's have a look at the Corolla one for the hub, but again yours for 4k all yours all this for 4k there we go and look what we've got I like these 3d dials here these are very very nice Oh, hey! Eh? Oh, that'll do. No, I'll have one of them. Nice one, buddy. Even get coffee here. Eh? That's all right. Little bit of what you does don't do you no know, harm, and what you like, what you fancy. What the hell? Oh, they even make you a coffee. How nice are the boys in this yard? Back of the light taste there, look. Into the Corolla then. 3D clock, similar to the GXL ones where you have that cone perspex. Washer wipers there, lights there. Uh, this is my attempt at doing a car review. Stick to your day job! Um, it's got sort of things in the back and that, and then it's got a headlining, look, and a, a triangle of doom, as long as we've got a triangle of doom. Sh uh, centre column, no, uh, centre gear change, a hand, a handbrake here, uh, yeah, and then you get with it Don Vinci. What's this? Don't even know what it is. What the hell is that? What is this? It's like a Pritt stick, I don't think it is. What's that? I don't, don't know. Uh, yeah, my Toyota Corolla. To to backwards, Toyota Corolla. Have a little look round. Seems. Seems solid. Oof. Oof, painful. One for the nuts. Okay. A light ace over there. Saudi spec. Of course, it looks transit. Now you're talking bullnose. One for Gary, one for the Nuggy. Transit. Let's have a butcher's. Come on. Quote me happy, baby. Quote me happy, baby. No access. Transit. That's the diesel front, I think. Gary will tell me that one. I guess go and see how the Crayford's doing. Come on. Ah, yeah, puppy. It's all sounding a bit wild. It's about. It's like the end clip of. Look, all and I. Put a sock on there to stop the the wind noise. It does do the job. Tom's firing away now. What you got, Tom? Anything coming out? Clocks in a minute. Smashing. I'll get that heater box out. The old Camberwell carrots are being built. <coughs> Smells good. But when we, if we made a really big smoke, mm. we'd call it a Camberwell carrot because it looks like a carrot. For you, we'll call it a, uh, a, a, a what's it? Where are we? Great, great Arwood carrot. Big, about 50, 20 skinner, a 20 skinner. I'm gonna build a 20 skinner. <laughs> Down at the yard, it's all happening. There's your view, just point at whatever you want. I'm gonna get my hands in here. Just, 
think that's spinning the plastic actually. If you pull down it'll go. the plastic, you know the little plastic yeah. retainer inside the dash, it spun that. So I think you'd have to leave it down on the dash while I turn the screw. About that angle and then you put something between there and there, give me a leverage and then we'll get it. Right, hold it like that. Give it a bit more. It's never, I've never known one of them go. Naughty that. It's nearly out. There's not much there's not much screw in there. It'll go now. There we go, it's coming. We just want that room connector out of the back and you're good to go. Um oh. speed up and bump. Tom it's had a big repair patch in the floor here. How good did they do it? I just overskinned it. Wow. The whole That's had some bad repairs done to that. Here, grab this steering wheel, that's a that's a proper lever bound. Wheel, that's worth some good money. That wheel, it's a little bit cracked, but that 10 mil might not fit in there, Tom. Yeah. It's too tall. Mats to hide a multitude of sins. Oh, oh, go on, my son. Ah. Found a horror story under there. Look at that. That ain't getting fixed in a hurry. Yeah. Can't find a 10 mil, eh? Even managed to get into its transmission tunnel. I bet if you hit that, it's just gonna. Ten. Can't see the numbers on it. It's poss got possibilities. No, I think it's, it's imperial. That. Anything? Are you delivering the goods, boy? Hey, have a carpet. Free of charge to you. Have a carpet. Ah, my foot's gone through again. Have a go at that one. Just grab it left and right round where the radio was and pull. That's the one. That's the one. Nice and easy does it every time. Right, just don't pull any more now and just watch your wiring harness. We'll go and plug the harness and bring it out as a complete unit. This car's history boy. I had to take the dash out to get your to get to your heater box levered day. Uh, now it's fused to the actual box. Observing social distancing at all times. <laughs> That's because uh, it's all over now. The month now is 2021. This is the summer season. Yeah I think uh, you two have just become family. <laughs> we are family. You can see it here. That is fused on. Big time. Oh yes, well done. It's gone. You got it? Yeah. Yep. That was properly fused. That's the technique. And now it's all down to 
can we rock it? Hold on, we might need to take that cover off Tom on that wiper motor there, Philip screwdriver. Just let me just uh, give it a gentle, gentle touch, a bit of a Jill Gascoigne. These boys are too uh, young for Jill Gascoigne, aren't they Dave? They going to say something. Yeah. <laughs> Gascoigne? You must know Jill Gascoigne. Who's Jill Gascoigne? Oh, she's gorgeous. <clears throat> Beautiful woman. She was. Very sultry woman. 1970s, 1970s day, yeah. 1980s. Watch this now. This is how it's done downtown as it all disintegrates. Yeah. Will it go in one piece? Will it fall apart? Now light. is the now is the crucial time. The red light is on, isn't it? The red light oh. is on. Ooh. Nice. A very nice. Yes. That'll, that will clean up nicely. It will. Now then, storage is important. There's the plenum drain. Yeah. Very rare. Yeah. The um, storage is important, boys. You, if you put it down on that, that'll just crack straight off. So this has to be supported. Probably. Well, you need to sort of rest it there and there. Yeah. Anywhere else it'll break, and it may as well just throw it away. So, however you store this, probably on, on polystyrene blocks like that. When you pack and send it, you've got to pack the hell out of it because one touch and it's gone. Yeah. However, if you restore this and gently put it back in your car, they're safe again. Mm. This is probably the best one I've seen. There you go. You know what I mean? Just want to play with it. Oh, yeah. I thought I'd get you well, arriving, it looks quite good. Just like warning you off. That's all. Once you're in, you're just like, oh, yeah. yeah. Come on, then. Well, well we've been busy, Alan, it's when you leave. <laughs> If you try, if you try leaving with money in your pocket, I'm out of traffic. Bring it in to get this out, or what? Took me 20 minutes, that one, me and him. Well, you went for dinner. This is all I get all this, man. I've been busy, I'm on the video. Watch it. Dash out, heat the box in one piece. Yeah, yeah, one piece, we're not breaking it. Well, you know them rods they always fuse on. Why are you taking them out? Just lift the engine out. Get out. First. He's not even touched it yet. See, I'm going to have to edit this video, it's got swearing in it. Huh. <laughs> Oh, you do shopping for neighbours, then? Yeah. All right, I'll see you soon, Dave. Dave, I'll, I'll be in touch. Well, what, what shopping are you doing, Dave? Alan, there's some real dodgy floor repairs in the back. Big, big plates that have just been tacked on. Whoa, 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 my knee. Whoa, I was only leaning my knee against it, it's just punched through. Alan! <laughs> me, me knee's disappeared into the back balance. Look at the state of that. <laughs> 
I was, I was only like, you know, just leaning against mm. it. Nearly lost me knee. Wow. So. That's how they put them in, mesh, then just shove the filler in. And that's how they fix the rot. Just fill it full of filler. Pop yeah. it! Pop it! No, there's, there's, there's nothing. I can't. Someone help. I don't know what I'm going to do. Whoa. Oh. Oh my. What else? Can you get past the top? Whoa! Could you move this for me, please? Is it Rob? Yeah, Rob, you Robert. Thanks, Rob. Just, I'm going to open that door just to see, because this looks a bit naughty as well down this side. That's, that's the one. That's the one. Ooh. I'll, I'll, I'll get this. Hang on, let me grab that. Right, I've got all of the, uh, the handbrake. There we go. Yeah, uh, good them hand brakes. Mm. Do you like them hand brakes, Alan? Which? They're good, aren't they? It's all right. It's only an in joke. Right, here we go. I think Al, the sill on this side's just as bad. So this is what you could have ended up having to try and repair if you don't check yeah. your cars out beforehand. That's what you. That's that's how solid it is. Nice and solid. You're gonna save that. Yeah, yeah. Do the Crayford. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll do the Crayford. Yeah. I'll do the Crayford, yeah, yeah. That's it, Rob, do the Crayford. That's some hidden rot in it there. Yeah. Look at that dodgy plate that someone's fitted. That's some dodgy rot. Where you could just, you can just. You want a plate on that side, don't you? He wants plate in this side, yeah. <laughs> just a couple of. Imagine if you like, you know, you didn't know. Just. If you pull on that, Rob, you'll probably be able to detach that. Mm. I'm going to watch these windows. Wow. The sill this side's just as bad, Alan. Got it. It's just as bad, mate. So what we've got to take off now? I'll have that earthly to get out up front. Yeah. I know 1300 engine in a car like this, it's right. I'd, you I'd, know, I had a 1300 P Reg. It done 9,000 hour when we bought it. Found it in a garage in a, a Miami blue one on a P. Yeah, Miami blue, yeah, that's a 
That's a sort of facelift era. He'd never been painted, he'd never had no pads yeah. or anything. Yeah. He's a leak up card, put a back light lens on it. Yeah. And it passed its MOT. Yeah. Right, and it's hurt to run. But rust coming through paint, so I ended up just giving painting it. She had it for about three years, and that car flew. Yeah, well. I thought I'd put a six, I'd say, it sat up more to it at seven, it needed a fifth gear. Do like a 70, 75, it just screamed a bit when it did another gear. That is state of mind. Flew, absolutely flew, it's, so it was I come up here and it didn't have it into black. Yeah. And, and it, it weren't that bad, you know, it's 13. But I'll tell you what, I'll be seeing this here, look. A saving grace. Yeah. It's a solid. As it says, look, brush painted in the wing. It's a Luca bronze. Wow. It's the most solid bulkhead area yeah. I've seen till it gets up there, but even up there survive. So that's a panel to be getting out. Yeah. Tom, where, where's Tom? Oh, he's here. Well, you, no, so you want, you want that? that Look at that panel. Oh, definitely salvage that. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, that'll sell that. Oh, that's solid. That's the only solid bit on the... That normally just wraps straight through. It's right. starting to go, but it hasn't got it. I don't know how that survived. Because it's not been getting water in there, that's why. It's the only saving grace. That's the only solid bit of the car, isn't it? Well, I've just cleaned up that arse of mine. Full yeah. of leaves in that. Yeah, I, I, on TC I've filled that full of wax oil. Well, that's what I'm doing, Pumped mate. it full of wax oil. Because when I took... Just that, that, that wiper out fell down. Yeah. So I've taken all that, so I took it all right, then get it. it mint, yeah. Cleaned it all out. All up there is perfect. Yeah. So, I'll make it sick. Just the old place, polished up. Is that fucking too old? This has to be an ed edited video, this Alan. Well, what's for him? Oh, well, oh, why? Swearing. I don't touch it. 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 I don't I was so excited when I kept coming down here, I was really made up. That's a lift to it today now because you've let go of that day. Nice. Very nice. Your fingers on. Watch your back as well. Jeez. Oh, that's a back break of that. I can feel that. No, I was looking forward to this album on the way down here. I was like, well, it's going to be near saveable. Could, could go to Spain in it. Told it for Bob, mate. I just thought you were just like, you know, pre warning me. Like, I bet you wish now you kept that ready. The red one was perfect. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I still can't keep it's looking nice. at the car. I, I still can't believe what I'm seeing. Yeah, it's it's, I keep going back to it thinking, uh, keep going back to it thinking, right, well, what could, where would I start? And, I, and then, and it's a, good bad don't we? Because it's Crayfish, yeah. Who that car Aren't they Ford Escort as well? Yeah. I didn't know the other one, I thought that's what it was. No, it's just a glass, a bit of chrome out top. Hey, of is, is, is the glass scratched or not? Will be now, won't it? Because I might need decent glass for mine. Yeah, yeah. Side glass is all right. We're yeah. trim on them, isn't it? Yeah, that's you know? XL trim, you know. And and the is dash is XL. That's XL dash. And it's got this, isn't it? Well, why is it 300 L then? Well, the VIN tag says L as well. The VIN tag's yeah. got L on it. I'm sure it's got a logo for it, you know. It will, it will be L, but because L's didn't have a time clock. Only XL's and GXL's had time clock. It's got. You know, Time clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine L. Nine L. Nine L. I'll just nick one of these to put it in my woman. I'll call her soon. I'll see you later. See you later. Bye. 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 It looks all right from here, Al. You know, with four headlamps and that. Is that is that is it a is it a, an XL? This um, is it? A, I think somebody's put some bits on it off somebody else's thing. It's a G a G a GLX in it. GLX. It's a Capri, isn't it? It's a Granada, isn't it? My dad had one of those. It's a GLX, isn't it? I'm okay. I'll survive. Well, coffees? Yeah. I'll be alright. He's got fetches on it, boots. No. We're getting low on Chris. 
Well, Dave will have to get the wallet out, won't he? Eh? Have you eaten them all now? Yeah. Didn't last long, did they? When's this engine coming out then, boys? I've got some YouTubers waiting here on the keyboards. Accelerator cable still connected. Is it? Hmm. Oh, yeah, it is, yeah. Looks a bit seized, that. Yeah, we'll cut it. Not big, good snap on quality tools, like yeah. good snap on quality tools. You borrowed them, what's me? <laughs> you have to get that in that bit. Yeah. Turn over that one. Yeah. Turns Probably a good engine, that. Oh, no. Sorry, Al, I've lost your coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I think so be I've got one more left. You have one. I was going to have. Have you fetched some coffee? Coffee, sugar, custards. That's it. Is that all? More pies? Yeah, custards. Uh, any any Eccles cakes? Custards. Mm, yeah, I'll get them out of them because I'm starving over next week. The bake wells. Oh, yeah. Cherry yeah, yeah. Oh, I fetched them this morning. Bake wells are nice. I'd say three, I'm three week out today. There's no blooming shops open. Yeah. There's nowhere to buy any food. And then when yeah, you do go in, they've got, they're wearing masks and you can't see if they're smiling. Well, I not. come here about 11 o'clock because I've done some jobs first and then they went for dinner about 12. No, they did. I said, no, no I'm all right. I've some wheat with the dog. So I'm right, like. And then now you're hungry, aren't you? Like, yeah. Well, you can, yeah. Food side. You can put butter on wheat mix, you know. And I'm, oh, I like it with I know you can. Dog won't have them unless they're all mushed up. I never knew you could put butter on wheat your biscuits. I, like, I know, I tried it, it was quite good. Do you not like digestive biscuits with butter on them? I do. Oh, Very nice. Yeah. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. I, I, that's butter on them, mate. Eccles cakes for me, dunked in a cup of coffee. You don't have wheat bits with butter on them. Yeah, that's it, it. I just said that. Yeah, I didn't know you could do that. I'm going to have some when I get home. You just wouldn't think Weetabix could have butter. No one made the simple connection. It's genius. I can't believe it. Yeah. I was really looking forward to this car oh, when I come down here. Out. Toast with brown sauce. Oh no, that's, <laughs> so I've never tried. That sounds a bit mental. Lancashire cheese on toast with brown sauce. With brown sauce, with brown sauce as well. Well, well, any cheese on toast is eatable, isn't it? Let's well, it's, yeah, but it has to be Lancashire cheese with Not brown any sauce. cheese. For a black oh, cheese on toast. Right. It's a long time since I had cheese on toast, Tom, but now they've got me thinking about it. I want to go home and make that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just thought that. Why, why is she spinning? Record it. Because it's my intro, spinning engine introduction to the video. Before I'd gone everything off it. Yeah. Looks good that as an intro. 7-Eleven. If only we could have connected up the, the battery, we would have, could have flashed the lights. And everyone would have thought, oh! What with this? Yeah. This is a two and a half this mess. I'd like one. Yeah. I'd like one. Have a 3 h one as well. Yeah. Hi, black coffee please, no sugar, just 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 simple. Black coffee. Just nothing else, that's it. Water. Yeah. Well, chances like you have a new clutch here, boys. Organ back. Good. Because it's got uh, a nice thrust plate thing, whatever uh, it's called. I'm not good on engines. Plate. It's got a good flywheel on it. No, 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 like, that's the flywheel there, this is the yeah. pressure plate there. Pressure plate, that's the word I was yeah. looking for. This yeah, looked clean. Well, they, had, they had clutches, didn't they, you know, all the time. It was just yeah. clutch and brakes and... Exhaust pipes every year. Yeah. There's a new exhaust every year. The plate friction plates look all right. When I worked for Quick Fit, we used to stock 20 
at any one time Mark 3, 4, 5 coating exhaust because it's one of the most popular new clutch. As new as that, we'll be keeping that. Look at yeah. that, yeah. yeah is that a date? That. Look how much meat on that. Clean up on that, that'll be alright. Right. Yeah, it's a meaty one, is that, Paul? That's a extra, extra set to Bishop. I thought you'd do it some. If you find that, we'll take flywheels off them. Okay, in fact, you, no, because the bass will flat. We'll be leaving that because we're not taking as much off as good time to sell this as it is, isn't it? We're taking them off the lot. No. We sell them as is. So what I'm saying, nothing. We'll go and ask him what, what, what he's doing with it. Because while well, I've got a gun here, I'll take it and everything off you, what's head off? Make life easy, you know what I mean? But I think if he wants to sell as a lump, he'll be leaving in one piece, won't he? Yeah. Not be rubbing everything off it. So there's difference, I've stripped that because it's seized up to the. Wonder if it's a matching engine. No, no, that's it, come on. Yeah. Go on, lock on now, go on. Then the wheel's going to be in the rain. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What's the score with the transit, Al? Right. That's, that's, got, more, that's got more rot than the Cortina. One for Gary, that. <laughs> Time to go. Obviously a no goer. Let's get out of here. Get back on the road. The Crayford's no good. No good, no good, no good. I consider it a lucky escape. Okay, so drawing away then from Dave's yard, we decide not to go for it. Too rough, too far gone. So let's get out of here as we go down the, the back streets of the northern towns. Cobbles are the order of the day, everybody. The avenues and the alleyways. We'll catch you on another video very soon. I may put a little bramble ramble at the end of this clip if things are going well. We might be seeing you in just a minute. If not, thanks for your support and views, and we'll catch you for another Cortina City video soon. But it may be a ramble, let's just see.
the bright lights and the fun fair of Morecambe await us. Can't wait to go to Frontierland any minute now. It's going to be real exciting. We're off to Morecambe, everybody. Wow, sand castles and fun fairs. Nice golden, golden sands. Sunshine. Sunshine. Golden sands. The golden mile of Morecambe. The pleasure beach. You get. A, you've got Frontierland. Mr. Blobby. Do you watch? We're going to see Mr. Blobby. Yeah. This is a new bypass into Morecambe. Pretty bonny really, it sort of cuts out a lot of time. Not that I go to Morecambe very often. Let's go downtown Morecambe. Morecambe at night for the Esplanade and all the bright lights and all the, the attractions will all be nice and candy floss and there'll be burgers and onions, hot dogs, um, hooker duck, all sorts, all the fun of the accordions. Bingo, everything. It's going to be great. I mean, it's a bit late in the season, but we're hoping we'll find some abandoned cars there too. We head off onto the into the west. You see the setting sun ahead of us. Cumanimbus cloud cover there. The temperatures about five degrees. Road conditions are fair to middle into good. Look at that red sunset now. The west coast of the UK as we've completed our trip to find the XR2 so we found that now it's a little stop off in Morecambe for this Ruby road trip Swampy took over the last trip at the NEC this is Ruby's turn now as they as they toggle and rotate between excursions Morecambe then so Morecambe at night all the, the fun of the fair coming up Fantastic, Morecambe, we will welcome, welcome. Morecambe's gonna welcome us. Morecambe then, a wise choice, I think. Round the roundabout we go. Feed the power through. No problem. Activate cruise, cruise active. Torque converter locked up. I can't wait to go on the roller coaster. Wow. Are we nearly there yet? Yeah, we've got a setting sun. Maybe they've demolished Morecambe, is it? Maybe they might have closed it. Morecambe closed. Closed for business. Open for business. Closed for business. All the fun on the fair coming up. Morecambe in five minutes. Next stop, Morecambe. Next stop, Morecambe. Change here for the deep blue sea. Buckets and spades. Electricity pylons. Next stop, Morecambe. All change, all change. Morecambe by night then as we as we roll into town up in smoke the vape shop the York holding on for dear life the York Hotel holding on for dear life how's that cinema doing on this corner gone cinema gone Sodium still here, LEDs not quite made, LEDs haven't quite ma materialised in Morecambe yet, traffic traffic works have, we're still on sodiums here, this is a, so it's still going to be sort of period piece with the sodium lights, as opposed to those, the new LED, Cobb, oh god is that Enterprise truck managed to get behind me, oh no he's ahead of me, there's another one, it does go, a Leyland Sherpa behind me, cop shop, Jim coming out of there. A new building, a travel lodge for everybody. How about that? That's a skyscraper, that weren't there last time. I don't remember that being No, new. just suddenly built that. Oh, Morgan. I'm counting Christmas trees. 
No, Christmas trees already? No. There's loads. It's impossible. Please, November. No, please. If I see them in one of them stupid Santa things, <laughs> it's, the, it's the Santa in his sleigh that gets me the most. I like the penguins that they're doing this year. I've seen them in the shops to buy. I've not seen them actually placed in a garden yet. Oh, no, they're rubbish. Little ones. Like, yeah, like little penguins are nice. Oh, if I remember right, aren't there some horrible speed bumps here? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, these are real, real choice speed bumps. These. Domino's delivers till 5am. What did he deliver though? Piles of pasta and uh, piles of pastry. Mm, not pastry. Pastry pasty. No, piles of Pink pastry. I, I, <laughs> the cheeky bug has put a leaflet through my door like oh. I'm going to go to Domino's. I was. What if I was starving? <laughs> and it said, um, go large for an extra four quid on your on already too big a meal anyway and it's Tuesday is buy one get one free Excuse my but it's just not healthy food though is it it's just full of calories and, the, the, and, and a drink and a drink and the drink was just full fat coke and a drink it's not a drink a drink's water coke's not a drink how can you call that a drink it's ridiculous go large another four because it's just unnecessary you don't need all that food your body doesn't need all that crap No. It's like my croaky voice. KFC. That's a load of garbage and all. KFC. Once you... Oh, look at the sunset. Oh, wow. Whoa! Should we just... Oh, I'm, I'm in the wrong lane to go that way. This is the Midland. We'll have to go and a drive by half the Midland with the sunset. Everyone's voice is going because everyone's getting cold. Yeah, you got a croaky just gone. Voice. That's what's wrong with you, love. I'll, I'll be on. next. I feel really lousy. Yeah, it's starting. There's so many people at the NEC. That's the Midlands. So many people at the so many people at the NEC had. That was where I stood on the wall filming here last time. This is it. Right, ready for the fun fair. The Golden Mile. <laughs> wow. Ah, oh, there it is. Pleasure Land. Great. to get a good shot of the car outside. Christmas tree! Wait. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! A bit icy wind coming in off the west coast, blowing straight into Morecambe. The bath. Oh, no, I wouldn't think that's open, would you? No. Live entertainment. Okay. Christmas tree in the window. It doesn't even look like it's open. Keep your eye in the rear view mirror. Look at that. can't be open. It looked like it was through. It's a lovely. Uh, wow. This is more combined night. We're pulling over. The, the bubble bath. Any scooters or chariots or people walking on the plate because I'm trying to. Whoa, scooter boys. Oh, yeah. Can't I'm about to turn the engine off. This can't be true. Yeah. 
It's like the last chance saloon. I must be dreaming, it can't be true. There goes another one, look. Shouldn't be allowed. This is in the UK. This is indeed.com slash talk. And height. Tomorrow, uh, once any mispatch is clear, it'll be a chilly but dry and bright day across Wales with spells of sunshine and there'll be some patchy cloud as well. Cloudy with scattered showers. Oh, tomorrow's going to be nice. The container ship lost in the Falklands Comfort is going to get built in Japan. I think we've better move on from this, but that that's incredible. But I don't think I just think it's sort of members only job. Okay, we've bored you enough with nine minutes of a nine minutes of a pub front. That was low clearance. Funland, let's ram raid it. Mm -hmm. Wow, I need a shot of the car outside, Funland. Oh, okay, okay, here we go. Is that Wolf? That was Wolf. It's Woolies. Woolies. Woolies has fallen. It's a lovely building. I wonder if that's an old cinema. That's definitely Art Deco, that one. 
Like the camera can't quite pick that up, but... You can tell what's going on, Well, Lisa's gone. Where am I going to get me Christmas baubles from? Sunday market. Classy that, isn't it? I don't want to run over someone in one of them wheelchairs. Oh, yeah. some, for some reason, I see a few loads of people in those wheelchairs. I don't know why here more than guarantee B&M's, can't you? Yeah. Lovely stuff. There's the Midland ahead. It's yeah. nice little time. It's a puddle there, about six foot deep, that puddle. Unbelievable. That's put, is that boy up a brick too? Bricked? 
enough license there. Hoover Place. Yeah. Wow, what's better than Henry's? Oh, Dyson. Boo. Boo, Dyson. What's this? Can we go down here? Yeah. That's nice to look what's on, that? isn't it? Oh, look at the old sign. That's This ain't too bad a road. It's like a T junction, mm -hmm. isn't it? I think this is the main road back into the centre. I think we came in on this bit. Did we? I think so. Kennedy's. I think we came in. On this bit. Oh no we didn't. It's further up. The exchange. Walks open. Yeah. yeah. minutes. 26 it says there. Yeah, nine minutes to go. Um, to make the six. Yeah. Keep your eye out for the police behind because I'm I'm on a handheld device. I think they do you know the same as a mobile. Yeah, it's not for not worth risking it anymore. No GoPro on your head. You just don't get the pan shots that you need. It just, it just won't work. Right, let's see what I've got. There's the crown. What's this? King's? Is it King's coming up? Yeah, the King's Arms. Treasure Island. Oh, yeah. Open and ready for business. Nice. Now you can actually drive down there. Got all the Christmas lights. Volkswagen behind us. Yeah, they're on. Must have a massive switch on this afternoon. Drop each one, but he's getting on the south pole. You can stay. Uh -huh. What a joker. 
Wow, that's like little Amsterdam down there. What we got on the left, the Masons. That's an old. That's an old sign. What's it like? I can't. I can't. Yeah, I'll pull over. Kebab house, Bodrum. So you got your takeaways and I'm down this strip. It's the Masons, looks quite nice. It's not frosted glass windows. I don't think I can get That's close nice. to it. Oh, there we go. something like a big long gla glass like yellow stuff in it oh it's a pint <laughs> looks cozy doesn't it yeah it looks like they're playing domino i don't think they're eating the tea could be dominoes with chips yeah see if you can sort that out oh. struggling with that what's your think of i don't know it's fell off isn't it Now, where are we now? One in from where we came in, one into Can the right. Should I go left then? Or am I going right? We went, we came into the right, I think. I'm lost. What's down here? That's that old one from the old cinema. Ah, we've never gone this way past the old cinema, have we? Top shop. Well, it's Blobby, it's Blobby World. Wow, yeah. cop shop looks well 70s. Right. That looks like a scene out of the Sweeney. Let's go and have a look. Whoa, look at that. Wow. Manx Kippers. Mm. Oh, we'll look down here. Hey, I have something now, yeah. Well, well. What's this? What we got? Mason's Arms, at the back of the Mason's Arms. Yeah. Is it back at Mason's? That's a guess. Wow, I'm good. How, how could I have told that was the back? I don't even think we got on the same road. Is that one way? No, that's It's a cop shop we want, isn't it? Yeah. It's like mega 70s. Guy's yeah, got no lights on his bike, what a hooligan. You've said, tooled up, one way street, we're in trouble. Where's the jumbo gone? The jumbo was bad. That's the joiner's arms that we saw before. Was that the carpenter's arms? We saw something. That outside the house. Mm. Which is Eric Morgan? Oh, yeah, it's too dark for it to see. With Ernie Wise in his middle. Oh, yeah. This is staggering. He's mm. come out of 18, Club 18. He's not 30, though, is he? No. Uh, 18 to 30 is his two olds who've been kicked out. 
fisherman's friend. All the fun of the fur at the joiner's arms, it's like a bit of an altercation going on outside the joiner's. No, I think they're all right, let's have a look. Anybody behind us, love? I'll just no, catch them. The they're in sprinting distance, we don't want to film them too long. We can quickly sprint over and just kick the side of the car. Now, jump, oh, Jumbo, 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 no. Nice. Wow, and That's then it'll be the cop shop next. Yeah. Jumbo, then the police station, then we're set for a six o'clock arrival. If we play our cards right, we're in the job centre window, look. Yeah, oh yeah. We're in the job, we're colour coordinate. I know we're not, it's green. But the job centre used to be yellow. No, it's always been green. It's got yellow in the writing. Okay. Okay. As Teddy Best says. Okay, okay. Look, Ted. I'm not lying, Ted. Look at me. Jumbo. Please. Yes. What's that, Offie? Lollipops. Lollipops? Where's the cops? They're talking about lollipops. The cops. Okay, the Sodium looks good on the bonnet. Yeah. Cops. Where's the police gone? That's the Turkish again, oh it's up here isn't it? I'm trying to hold it steady but if I'm driving past is it not is it a bad idea to drive past with the camera? Do you think? I see it. What about people on YouTube? Won't they write in and complain? You know what they're like? Because they're always there's always the YouTube police ready to tell you off. Well, I mean, I have got a dash cam, as you can clearly see on the film, but it doesn't give you POV. That's the problem. Which way was the... It was down here, weren't it? So 70s. Now this is Jack Regan style. This is the Met police station. I will resume filming when I've parked up because it's, it's hot, 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 hot. So, so 70s.
York, but still looking smart enough. Been smoke again. Barbers open. Yeah. So there's something about A brief. I would have liked to have seen Blobby World though. I think it's finished. I think Blobby World's levelled. But there's still relics of it. Yeah, that's a happy mount park and I think it's up the other end. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Blobby came out. Blobby, Blobby. Oh dear. Oh, no. Must have been traumatic I for you. I looked in the mirror. Uh -uh. Must have been traumatic for Mr. Uh, not Mr. Blobby seen me. <laughs> no. We better get on the motorway. Dinner time. A wheel with no tyre. Put some Avon tyres on the way and this little clip now to wind you down after your little trip to see the Crayford and your little trip around dark and gloomy seaside towns in this case you've just left Morecambe in the winter and we headed out in Ruby onto the motorway for something to eat so slowly bringing you down, I'll step inside the television screen myself in a minute. But what I wanted to do to bring us back down to earth after two hours of fun, to let you know that episode 41 is coming very soon. Before I sit down and have my last chat to you, I'm going to show you. It's naughty because we're going to we're, we're going to fast forward you in time. You're going to. Well, we can't go faster than the speed of light because then um, you get a problem with math, uh, mass. I think mass tries to do something really w weird. So I'm afraid we can't go faster than that. But we can look round the car. So, uh, curiously, curiously, if you can't, if it's theoretically impossible to go faster than the speed of light, then most of the stars that you can see and uh, would take quite a long time for any uh, extra uh, terrestrial beings to get to us so that's an interesting one something to think about when you go to bed tonight that and hadron colliders wheels getting ready a Revatec fan there the new water pump that we needed the fan control that fits into the bottom of the radiator that's going to be fun in episode 41 let's walk you around the engine bay virtually done and not much different than uh, when I left you in episode 40 lowering the engine in a couple of little bits of clips gone on look how we get nice finishing clips on all the, the details a flying saucer there for Paul and Ruth I always strap up the fuel pipe line here because in case that pipe ever slides off and um, water pump I say will be going on everything else is neat episode 41 will see a nice automatic washer test it was going to be in this clip but we're running overtime at two hours not much changed on the interior some grab handles went in some interesting footage on the sun visors and you're going to get to see how we got the lights fitted with the leds we won't be showing you again on this ramble but leds a very nice boot lid well a very nice boot lid i uh, Nothing else changed on there, so let's go inside and, and finally finish. Oh, by the way, if anyone ever picks up on this clock, please don't, because I've took the fuse out. 
watch just to prove because someone's gonna get oh did it not did you never fix the clock no. did you hear that now the clock will have charged you see so listen to the gentle rhythm of the clock ticking away and let that slowly feel your eyes getting heavier now and beginning to drift as the the Peroni bottles and your beer bottles and cans and cider and gin lay scattered on the floor all around you look at the time it's going midnight time for Betty buys everybody patreons and youtubers who've been watching my blackpool clips who've been watching the build of the car hasn't it been an exciting trip so far yes it has let's step inside now we've got our blanket because i'll shortly be having a little sleep too remember the apocalyptic blanket from episode 30 introduction if you've not seen it go check it out let's get in the back let's have a little <laughs> With no seats! <laughs> uh, I woke you up, sorry. We just have to like crash out. There's no seats! I'm not putting them back in because there's works to be done. Hold on a minute. Let me get the blanket. I'm cold. So cold. In June, so freezing. The first snows are arriving in the minute. The nuclear winter's imminent. The nuclear winter, I've got my blast shield. This will hold back the, the blast. Poof! Oh, the flash, the Vulcan flash. Oh. Did you know Vulcan bombers were painted white in anti flash paint? Later, when they adopted a low level role, they were camouflaged. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. Only need glasses for reading, did you know? Right. There's no seats, so you're inside the telly again. Why did we put the Why did we put the telly on the bonnet of the car? So you can scratch it. And why haven't you painted it? Why is the bonnet of the car brown? Well, I don't know, because that's when we were building the car, isn't it? So cold this winter. Winter, it's June. The hell are you talking about? Now, if you can't, this is very good for sleeping. It keeps you warm. So, we'll pop that. If only we had the seats, we could activate the bed levers. That'd be good, wouldn't it? How's this going to affect? What about if I do that? What happens to the camera's focus? No, that doesn't work. Now, people are paying good money to watch this rubbish. Sometimes, when you're doing film work, when we did the Grand Tour, there's a scene where we were setting up the car, or I, was, I wasn't doing it, I was just stood by the side, but we have these and they go like this. James, stay there. James, stay there. James, actually, here's some stuff you won't know. But why not talk about the Grand Tour? That's a good idea for the ramble, isn't it? The blanket, it's not that cold, but June suddenly turned cold. Grand Tour, um, we went out with my car, Tina Green, the GXL, to do the filming for the, if you've not seen it, um, not Grand, yeah, Grand Tour season, episode 13, or episode 14, I think, on season 3, it's called Funeral for a Ford, it's the last one they did, anyway, I took a car down to film, to film. James drove it, and when... They were filming him driving it just down the road. Um, I was in the back of this Range Rover, and they weren't off. They, was, they, they, they must either hire these Range Rovers or they own them. The TV production company called uh, Chump Productions. I think it's Cla Clarkson, Hammond, May. Then they put a, a U and a P in it for some reason. Can't remember what it was for. Anyway, um, we were in the back of these Range Rovers with the lids, the boot lids up, but with the cameras filming out the back, so they're like film vehicles. But they were just hitting hedges with them and all sorts. They were really, really brand new as well. They were brand new vehicles, and they're just young lads, probably only in the 20s, driving these camera vehicles, which were Range Rovers, as I said. 
down these narrow country lanes trying to make it look like Wales but it wasn't it was um, an area around not far out of London North London I think could have been Chilton possibly anyway James is behind us the cam I'm in the camera car so there I'm in the front and the camera guys are in the back of the Range Rover I'm in the front passenger seat with this guy driving like a loony then um, we have to turn round these lanes were now in very narrow and there was a travellers uh, campsite I think they'd stopped off on the route some travellers there's quite a few caravans and that so they were they were just set up camp and um, he uh, had to do a three-point turn in the traveller's site and they wanted to buy the car because I think they, they love Cortinas and uh, so the, the traveller guys were saying can we buy your car can we buy your car can we buy your car and James was going guys I can't get out and I don't think they recognised James they just wanted the Cortina to buy so um, he didn't he didn't uh, he didn't sell it and uh, what happened is the funny thing about it was um, we we turned round and then drove past James beeping the horns and then I think someone um, flashed a derriere at him, a Mooney if you will, and just basically left him to sort out the car purchase with the uh, the caravan guys. So they had to, uh, he had to negotiate and I, I, then it was only then that I realised it's my car. So um, if he was going to sell it I hope that they gave him a good price. Anyway, I think they shook hands with him and uh, finally realised it was James May and all sorts of photographs were going on. It was quite funny, the good, they were good, uh, good guys, we saw them later on. And um, big, big caravans as well, you know, I think they, were, they, were, they were pretty good. So that was a funny part of the story. And um, the rest of the filming, he clocked the blooming car as well, you know. I think you saw, he didn't actually show it in the film when it clocks round. I wish they did, but they put the camera on the dashboard for it. Because by the time I'd got to London, um, by the time I got to London, uh, it, would, um, it was on 900 and something. In fact, if you look on the Grand Tour clip, you can see that it's about to clock. And uh, I was hoping that I didn't clock it and that he clocked it. Because then he could have said, oh, clock, clocks and clock my, uh, may clock my Cortina. And he did, so um, but they didn't put it in the film. So every time I ever saw him afterwards on that set, and a couple of days later, because we, we went back, uh, I think it was a couple of weeks later, and uh, as I said, uh, I'll never forgive you for clocking me, car, even though I wanted him to. So that was funny. That was a good. That was a good time. I'm not quite sure how we got onto the Grand Tour from this tartan blanket. Although James May would probably love a tartan blanket. You know, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I can, um, can James is James is quite relaxing, isn't he? I suppose you can uh, you can nod off to James. No, you don't really nod off to James's films, but they do wind you down because he's quite relaxing, isn't he? He's not hyper. So um, that's what I do when I want to go. To, I don't know how I got to this subject. I really don't. Oh, I know. Ha <laughs> ha! I've reconnected. The neural network is working. They tried to pull the. Oh no! 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 In fact, actually, that is Terminator, that's the T-1000, look. It was this, because Grand Tour used these on James to light him up, and I, I have one of these. Also, this was used, what, what, yeah, here's a good military question for you, uh, film trivia, we've got another three minutes to go, then we're out of here. Oh no, we're running at two hours and seven. How do I know what we're running at by looking at the camera? I don't. I just know that I've probably got two hours of footage and now my camera's used up seven minutes with this garbage. Okay. So, um, what film uses some silver foil, what army, uh, military film, war film from the 70s, uh, epic one, has features a silver foil to be used for, for tanning yourself. Somebody in the film has a bit of silver foil. Name the film. If you've watched it, you'll know exactly what film it is. Well, if you've watched it once, you might have forgot that clip, but if you've watched it like me about 50 times, then you'll know straight away what's going on. Got some famous quotes which are often used. So that's it, we're getting out of here because you know, 
I, d I just bore people. The blanket is warm and I don't know why it's gone cold because May's been the hottest May on record. Morecambe was cold. It was about four or five degrees when we filmed that. And uh, there was more footage but I had to edit it down because I thought that was about the bare minimum I could get away with. And the Crayford of course. I still have Easter baby, no chance. Curiously, I didn't, I didn't see the strengthening bars. Rods through the sills, I don't know if they all had them on those. Crayford's no chance. Broke for spares. And I couldn't even use the side glass for this. Because this has got a couple of scratches in the side glass. Um, because that was worse. The crazy thing about this is that I've got new old stock opening glass. But no new old stock opening rubbers. And no trim for one of the windows so if it was to fit opening glass on this it would be great because that's what it used to have but it would be driving around with no trim around the glass because fixed window trim is different than opening window trim and ruby bramble at some point lost that window before i bought the car it's gone smashing to the ground and lost its trim and there weren't many gxls on two door certainly any that are getting broken for spares never seen it listed so that piece of trim for the driver's side opening window it goes up and round if you've got one i'll pay you good money for it because it means i can fit opening windows and on that note we're gonna go the television closes down we lift it off the bonnet of the car look at that car there underneath me when we mocked it up for the nec with that brown paint there that's the um that paint there that is the what was it what we call that techno grip that was techno grip so there's the techno grip looks like ford primer brown which is probably better than ford primer brown get yourself your horlicks make your tea or whatever you have before you go to bed a little jd no that'll just make you sleep bad get your tea get your horlicks marvel at the dashboard have you ever marveled at it? It's beauty. We'll see you in episode 41. I'm getting out of here now. That definitely was a ramble. Ramble because it was disjointed. Ramble because it was just naughty. But Bramble will ramble one day. We're getting close where we're going to be driving away. Hope you liked Morecambe. Hope you liked the Crayford. And we'll catch you for the episode 41 next week on Cortina City. Once again, we thank you for your patrons. We thank you for the YouTubers. We thank you for anybody who's done anything to support the channel. One day, we hope, we'll be able to get in a car mag. You never know. Battery charges just kicked in. It's a cue to go. Over and out. Good night. Let's wind it down now and uh, chat like you. There's a bit of a, a chat lag, lasts about two minutes and people have all gone, but there's a few, like, Time, gentlemen, please. And with a Noel and I quote, Time, gentlemen, please. See you in a sec. No, whoa, I'll see you next week. <laughs>